children of Ecole St. Thomas are still chanting vote for us. The Majestic Trees of Knowledge competition runs until the end of April and the kids want to see their new school get the $20,000 grand prize. Annika Notvate spoke with the students today to see how the campaign for an outdoor classroom is coming along. This is a scene from the launch day over a month ago. With only 18 days left in the competition, Staff and students are hoping people will go online and vote for Ecole St. Thomas. This is how easy it is to vote. Just pop your email in here, press get started. Support your community, support us. It will be a great outdoor space for not only Ecole St. Thomas, but the community of Lloydminster. As we've been seeing for the past couple of weeks, the students are very excited about the chance to do school outside. Even though they went down a rank since before spring break, they're still on fire to promote their school and get those votes. Well, there are posters all over Lloydminster, and we have flyers, business cards, anything. All the students tell their families and their friends to vote. And We're happy because we never get to go outside except for recess, and it's really fun to explore the nature and stuff. It'll be really good for science. I have been um, telling my mom and dad to phone my auntie and uncle and all my grandparents and stuff to vote for us. The staff have drawn up a plan of the outdoor learning space. It will have things like a, a gazebo, a totem pole, some large wooden animals. Um, it will have Smoky Mountain with the dry riverbed, some walking paths, some areas, some raised um, garden areas. Anna Canotvate, Newcap News. There's also a chance time now for retrospect this week from the archives and this installment Brian Hardy brings us stories about the age-old problem of downtown parking and a major retail announcement about a new tenant moving into the Lloyd Mall. Parking in the downtown is a pet peeve among many Lloydminster drivers. It's April 1989 and finding a good downtown parking spot is as tough as ever. It's hard to believe that the city has some 3,000 stalls available. In the co-op parkade alone, there are 400 free spaces. Alderman Richard Starkey says the city wants to develop more spaces that's, for the future. The, the parking is adequate now. You know, ideally be able to park immediately in front of the business where we're doing business, but it's not always possible. The downtown parking problem may be less of a problem than people believe. There is a need for better signage to let people know where lots are. But there's also a need for people to accept that they can't always park right in front of the business they want to go to. And that walking a block or two may just be part of the downtown experience like it is in most other cities. Gwen Polakowski, Broadcast Center News. This week in 1990, the mayor made a major retail announcement. I'm pleased to announce that as of last Wednesday, Sears has signed an agreement with Mark Burr Properties whereby Sears will become an anchor store in the Lloyd Mall. Under the deal, Sears will close down this catalog store in downtown Lloyd and move into the mall. The store will go into the east end where Zeller's was. Zeller's has incorporated their two stores into one at the west end of the mall, and that chain has now applied for a 20,000-foot expansion. As part of the agreement, Sears will be a quarter owner of the mall, and as part owner will make improvements to pedestrian walkways, landscaping, and parking. Bob Keating, Broadcast Center News, Lloyd Minster. Join us next time when the Deputy Prime Minister visits the area on Retrospect.